Welcome to Al Chokeza's press conference. Um, tough battle today. How do you reflect on your match and your overall performance throughout the tournament? Uh, of course, I'm sad, a bit sad, uh, because uh, I always want more. But uh, it's still a good week for me. Uh, many first, like uh, first top 10 win, first second week in Grand Slam. So of course, it's a good week for me. And I know it's going to help me for the rest of the season, for sure. English questions? Thank you. Um, Arthur, congratulations on a great tournament. Uh, are there any uh, particular lessons that you've learned from the, the week and, and being around the, the big stars of the game and seeing how they go about their business? Can you, can you just repeat the...? Being around the top players in yeah. the world. Uh, have you learned any lessons this this week from your great run and seeing uh, them? Any lessons? Uh, uh, not, <laughs> I don't know. Not really. No, it was a good atmosphere, you know, uh, to be like you said, uh, close to every big star in tennis, and to be with them in the second week. Uh, for sure, it's a great experience for me. And if I learn any lessons. Uh, 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 yes, one maybe. It's like uh, if I want to win a Grand Slam one day, it's a long way <laughs> and uh, it's long two weeks. And uh, for the body, it's long and uh, also for the mind. And uh, you must to be like very strong to, to, to win a Grand Slam and yeah, to be the best during two weeks in a row. That's on but in the next few weeks what events are you going to be playing and now that you're up to eighty three, I think, in the live rankings, what might that mean for the weeks ahead in, in planning a new playing schedule? Yes, uh for sure. Uh my schedule uh, gonna change a bit, but uh my next tournament gonna be Montpellier because it's my own city and uh that one was in red on my schedule <laughs> because uh, yeah, I love my city and I love this tournament. But uh, yeah, for sure, with my ranking now, uh, I'm gonna play more ATP tournaments. That's cool. And um, and yeah, I don't have any points, you know, to defend until uh, the grass season. So so that's good. Uh, that that's good for me. Uh, I will play every ATP to tour tournament, and that's going to be a great experience for me. Is it strange to think that uh, you were only the alternate at the the next gen finals, given what what you have done here? And was that hard in a way to be at that tournament but not play? Uh, I, I I was a bit sad for sure uh, because I. It was one of my goals from last year, and and yeah, I didn't have my place to 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 play this tournament. But uh, you know, I was there for for training. Uh, I trained hard uh, until this week, and uh, uh, yeah, it's it's life, you know. Uh, I I didn't play that good to to be in this tournament, and. Uh, but I will have like other chance to play big tournaments like this one, like uh, Australian Open also, and uh, I hope to to continue to you know to improve in my game, and uh, and to be a better player every day. And just finally, from me, uh, obviously a very nice uh, uh, prize money here at the Australian Open. Will that allow you to reinvest in your game, in your team, and, and give you some stability? And have there been times in your career where money has been a problem and, and stopped you from, from investing in your own game? Yeah, for sure. It's nice to, to have a big prize money, like you said, because I can invest uh, on, uh, on my team, you know. Uh, I, I already did that because uh, I, I took a physio, you know, with me. Uh, since uh, six months right now, so I already invest in my, you know, in my, uh, uh, in my team and my game plan. Uh, so for sure, I will, I will, I'm gonna continue on this way, to, 
to yeah to invest invest uh, on my in my tennis and uh, because I know it's like this I will be a better player and uh, that's all. Yeah, yeah.